One third of all the food we eat in this country is produced as a direct result of pollination by honeybees. A new exhibit extolling the value of the honeybee is now open at the North Carolina Zoo. It is a result of a joint effort between the North Carolina Zoo Society, the North Carolina State Beekeepers Association, the North Carolina Farm Bureau, and Syngenta. And we're delighted to showcase this one insect as its representative of all those uh, hundreds of thousands of other species. And the thing that we've focused on a lot in this garden is the connection between man, our interests, agriculture, and of course, the, a lot of other animals as well, as well. But the estimate is that we have between 100 and 110,000 colonies of honeybees. That's probably in the range of the Oh, the 10th biggest in the country. But what we do have more than any other country is we have more beekeepers. Almost all of our beekeepers are hobby beekeepers. They have one to 20 hives. So there's a lot of people across the state to keep bees. This is an entertainment and an educational exhibit. It'll expose people to what honeybees do. And a lot of people know about bees. They think they know because bees produce honey, but pollination is really the important reason for honeybees. A third of our diet comes from it. So that kind of an educational effort and then a lot of information on what people can do to actually help maintain the bees we have and increase the number. A past chair of the North Carolina State Beekeepers Association, Irvin Rackley, has been a pioneer in beekeeping and a driving force behind the North Carolina Zoo's honeybee exhibit. For him, the dedication of the zoo is a dream come true. Great, great, this is top. This is a wonderful, wonderful day. This, this will go around the world, the news of this. There's nothing like this anywhere. This is great. One third of what we eat is attributable to, to the honeybees. It is valuable to us, not alone for food, but for our health. This is great.